Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Ashley Hinson, and I am honored to be your Congresswoman elect here in Iowa's first district. Uh, tonight, we sent a very clear message that the voters of Iowa are tired of the chaos and dysfunction in Washington, D.C., and they were ready for a change. So I'm honored to have this, uh, this in my corner, and thank you for sending me to Washington, D.C. to be your voice. Um, I do want to thank Congresswoman Abby Finkenauer for her service to Iowa's first district. I am so proud of my team. I wouldn't be here without all of their work, all of our volunteers, Ashley's Army on the ground. We truly built a grassroots movement. All of those calls, those text messages, people putting out yard signs, making those uh, extra efforts to just help us cross the finish line first. I wouldn't be here without all of your help. So thank you so much for your support um, to help us with this great, great win tonight. I also want to thank my family, my husband, Matt, and my two boys, Max and Jax, who are now long in bed, but um, I wouldn't be here without them. Um, they were behind me on this very challenging endeavor, 110%. And there were many times on the campaign trail that I was asked um, how, as a working mom, a busy mom, how I was gonna make this work. And um, I wouldn't be able to do this without my husband, Matt, and um, every step of the way, he's been there for me, um, behind me. Um, making sure that I could be successful and and I'm so grateful to Matt for for everything he's doing for me. <clears throat> 2020 has been a tough year for all of us. Um, you know we've we've had uh, the pandemic, we've had the derecho, and none of us really prepared for that. But I think right now with everything we're going on with these unique challenges, um, it's really time to come together. And I think this election signifies that here in Iowa. And I'm ready to go work with anyone, independents, Republicans, Democrats, to get good things done for Iowans here in the first district, because that's what you deserve. And that's what you're sending me to Washington to do. And to all of you who did support Congresswoman Abby Finkenauer, um, I'm going to work hard every day to be your Congresswoman as well. We may not agree with everybody, uh, each other 100% of the time, but I pledge to you to be an accessible public servant. I will work hard for you and do my due diligence on issues for you. And I've pledged already to hold a weekly conference call with the media to answer those questions and begin that transparency starting on day one. And that's my pledge to you. I will always let you know where I stand moving forward, and I will begin that tomorrow morning um, after we celebrate a little bit tonight. The conservative movement is alive and well here in Iowa, and I look forward to continuing to focus on ways to reduce the tax burden on hardworking Iowa families, um, the, the workers in Iowa that are paying those taxes into the state of Iowa and to the federal government. It's not lost on me how hard you work um, for that money, and more of it should be in your pocket. I firmly believe that. I want to make the tax cuts passed by Republicans permanent, and I also want to hold China accountable. And those are things that I pledge to work on right away. I also want to thank our great governor, Kim Reynolds, Senators Chuck Grassley and Joni Ernst for their hard work in helping us campaign along the road. We won because we worked together and we ran together. So I am so grateful to all of you for being a great team in helping me. In Congress, again, I will always remember that the hardworking taxpayers of this district are my bosses. I will not forget that. I'm ready to go to work for Iowans and tackle the issues that really matter to Iowa families, including reforming our broken health care system, reducing the cost of prescription drugs, securing our border, and putting that money back in the pockets of hardworking Iowa taxpayers. It's going to be my honor of a lifetime to serve you in Washington, D.C., and I look forward to getting to work for the voters of Iowa's first district. Thank you so much. Okay.